With the album Total 4, David Page says oh, the band knew they had something. He also talks about the seventh one a little bit more in this clip. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Did you get a feeling after that one or when it was released? Uh, how do you mean? Did I, well, did I you? I mean, listen, I, I, I would find it hard to believe that you guys released four. And I know you were under the gun with number four yeah. to think that you guys didn't think you had something. Well, well, let's start there. Yeah. You must have thought yeah. you had something. Oh, yeah. We, we thought we had something. You know, even on Total Four album. Yeah. I'm talking. Yes, absolutely. Well, we knew it before because we played together so much. We just wanted to connect with everybody else so everybody else would know how strongly we felt about our own stuff. You know, and we were into it. And we, we were sure we could get it by other people. That there would be other people if we would make our own music. I was going to tell you something else off the seventh one. Sure. We, sh we re didn't release the right single on that. The single should have been Stay Away with Linda Ronstadt singing on it. And the deal was with Peter Asher, Linda will sing on your record, but you can't release it for a single or the first single or whatever. You know what I mean? Because she didn't want to have to make a comeback doing being a rock and roll singer. And we, so we said, okay, we'll, we'll use Linda, because we'll have, but you can't release it as the first single. And I had radio station people calling me all around the United States. Man, we're on this. This record's blowing everybody off the charts and everything like that. So that was one of those missed calls where we might have made it over the edge right there, you know. But but going back to from four to and a few years later to seven. But you, you didn't get a feeling because on first listen, I listened to seven and I went. This is like, to me, it was as good as four. I mean, everyone's right when it comes to music. Right. Everyone has an opinion. Right. But, yeah. but to me, to, I, was, I went nuts on this album. I went, oh, my God. Yeah, so seven, cool. seven, we really like that. That's why Jeff, I think, went back to the, uh, to the sword on that one there, you know, as far as an album cover goes. And because uh, we felt the, the connection between that and Total Four. We've had, when we were doing Pamela, we thought, man, this is, this is right where we left off, you know, like yeah. with Rosanna. You know, when I heard running out of time for 14, I remember going, I asked Luke this multiple times, going, where in the freaking, where do you get these like guitar riffs? Thing? And then I I'm know. listening to Spirit of the I Moonrise know. and I'm going, here we go. What the hell? I know. He's just, he's, he's off the Richter scale as a guitarist. He's in my top three guitarists and he's two of them, you know? So uh, he's, he's just unbelievable. He, I am trying to analyze how he plays the solos and his lines. And he's just like I said, he's like a uh, a phenomenon, a wunderkind, you know, as far as I'm concerned. That is great. Um, will I belong to you? Paige Lukather and Williams together. Uh, yeah. A beautiful melody. You have this thing of being able to, and I noticed it on 14. It's the first time I did a video on you guys. I did this long video on 14 and explained your history and stuff. And uh -huh. someone gave, us, gave me hell for saying, I thought all us boys would make a ghost show tune and they took it derogatory. And I right. went, I didn't mean it in a derogatory way, but it, to me, That's it right. had a. Right. Sure. You know, I get it. Thank you. Oh my God. Cause I'm sweating a little. I get here. it. I but, get uh, it. Will I belong to you? Uh, beautiful song. Tell me about that one. That was a typical example of why I put this, to put out an EP called, called it forgotten toys. Cause I had gotten off the road and uh, was just, I've been digitizing a bunch of old analog cassettes and little, and, and tapes around. I had some Pro Tools tapes uh, for a while. And uh, we just started dusting them off and listening to them. And this piece, uh, Joseph had written this, this great chorus, and it was attached to some other kind of song. But he got this chorus. And I said, well, that's a great chorus right there. And, and then I had a piece that I'd written that ended up being the verses. Uh, to the song, and I said, "Well, let's just put this, take this piece, and put it right here in front of this other piece." And Joseph says, "Well, it needs a little transition in right here," and it just took took a, took over a life of its own and started almost producing itself, you know, because we were just in. It was just came very quickly, and uh, that's that's really indicative of Joseph and myself writing together. I have to say, there's real magic when it comes to him, and he's he's such a. Uh, uh, perfectionist himself and but he's a great with pro tools and doing all the technical stuff i really you know uh, count on him a lot 
Did he do the new video? Because I know he's doing videos, a little bit of video stuff for Toto. Yeah, he will be doing some videos for me. He didn't do this new one. This was a gentleman named, a girl named Dion in uh, Amsterdam. Okay. And I can't even pronounce her last name. So hard. We'll have more from David Page coming up the next few days. If you want to have access to the clips early, join our Patreon. Links in the description of this video. Also, if you want to help the channel, there are links to our PayPal as well. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself.